Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Building Championship Mindsets, the podcast. This is your host, Dr. Amber Selking, where we are in season 12 entitled A Decade of Greatness. We are celebrating 10 years here at the Selking Performance Group. And through this season, I want to just highlight and celebrate 10 different drivers that I believe has been critical to the journey that we've been on and that we will continue to be on into the next 10 years. So today in episode three, I really want to focus on leaders leaders being a critical success driver to everything that we've been able to do over the last 10 years. As many of you know, here at Selking Performance, our emphasis is on helping individuals within a team, within an organization, or just an individual contributor who's looking to take their next step in their performance journey, or sports teams or business organizations to really help them understand what I believe are two critical elements in making individuals and organizations successful, which is mindset and leadership. And so through keynote speaking, workshops, individual performance coaching, that's how we really bring that to life in the world today. And again, over the last 10 years, I'm super excited about it. I can't believe uh, we're here. 2012 literally feels like yesterday, I am sure for many of you as well. And yet here we are in 2022. And so one of the things that I learned very, very early on in this entrepreneurship journey, in this mental performance coaching, high performance coaching um, business journey, is that the leaders with whom I work are critical, not only to my own sanity and joy and love and passion of the work that I do, but also the success of the work that I do. And so what I really want us to think about today is what are the kinds of leaders that you're working for, that you're serving? And if you happen to be the leader, what kind of leader are you? Are you the kind of leader that brings high performance to life for your people, for your team, for your organization, for yourself? And if not, how do we make those adjustments? Let me tell you where I first, it really clicked in my mind of, I am only going to work and serve and partner with leaders that I like, that like me, that really understand what we're doing and want to be excellent. So when I was doing my master's degree at the University of Denver, first year grad students, uh, my uh, master's is in sport and human performance psychology, incredible program at the University of Denver. If you're interested in the field, definitely check them out. Um, I think it's one of the best comprehensive programs in the country. And, um, and, and so the first year students shadow second year students who have placements out with teams and, and with different individuals. And so um, I remember shadowing, you know, these second years and, and, and some of them, the coaches, like they didn't pay them any attention that they were working with. They sort of stuck them over in the corner. And then when I was a second year and got to work with a team, one of the first teams I worked with, I felt like every time I showed up, I had to like re-justify what is mental performance? Why are we doing this? And sort of beg for five minutes to get with the team. And then I had the opportunity to work for a varsity boys basketball team where the head coach brought ask requested a mental performance coach from our program. And I was fortunate enough to be placed with this team. And from the get go, this head coach was bought in. He was supportive. He introduced me to his team as part of the staff and basically said, anything that comes out of her mouth is like coming out of any of our coaches mouths and you will respect her. You will respond to her. And this is how we're going to roll. And right then I felt so supportive and so supported and so believed in that I was free to do my work. And then that staff and I operated like our own team. We communicated every single day, multiple times a day. It was like all in, in pursuit of a state championship, which this team went to the state championship finals for the very first time since the 1970s in that school's history. And I firmly attribute it to the leadership of that head coach and his understanding of how do we get to the players and help them learn how to think right? And then how do we as a staff lead these young men in pursuit of becoming better human beings and delivering excellence on the basketball? Basketball court. And so that's when I decided I'm done working for anybody who doesn't get it and really want to collaborate 
to deliver high performance excellence. And so quite frankly, I firmly believe that's been a reason why the last 10 years have been so special and so magnificent because just like clients, you know, do their research to see if we're the right people to work with, I do my research as well. And and I want to be with people, one, who understand the value again, and two, are all in on actually delivering high performance excellence based on what we know in the science of high performance. And so more about that team that I just mentioned can actually be found in my new book called Winning the Mental Game, The Playbook for Building Championship Mindsets. It came out earlier this year in April. And so if you want to read more about that team and the journey that we were on together, go ahead and check that out and and read more about them. But over the last 10 years, you know, I can think of multiple examples where these things have come to life. You know, head coach Brian Kelly, the five years that I served with him during the winningest five years in the history of Notre Dame football and our ability to sort of recreate after after a four and eight season and then proceed to go into five years of 10 plus win seasons two college football playoff bursts. Um, again, the power of mindset and leadership and partner with a leader to create the system that is conducive to high performance and then teaching individuals inside of that system to think right. And that's what we're building down at LSU now in LSU football, where I get to be with him at, at this stage. And then also the last four and a half years that I've served as the vice president of leadership and culture at Lippert, you know, partnering with leaders like Jason Lippert, Ryan Smith, Andy Murray, Jamie Schnur. These guys are big vision, high passion, winning individuals who want to build the system. And then again, meet people on the front lines of our business to help them grow as individual human beings. And so together, you know, in part of what I loved about their leadership of me in the last several years is just the autonomy that they've given me. And it's not just me. They give leaders autonomy and people autonomy in the business to really make a difference. They don't micromanage. They set goals. They set vision. They set expectations. And then they say, Bring it to life. Be creative. Make this look different than any other organization in the world so that we can truly make business a force for good in the world. And so it's just been an exhilarating journey to serve those guys, to serve our people and to serve the mission. Um, You know, some other leaders, I'm working with an NFL team right now. And the only reason I'm with that organization is because what I noticed in the alignment of their leadership from their front office to their head coach and the buy-in and belief of, of those individuals in what mental performance is and how it can add to their organization. And so that's been a fun journey over the last couple months so far and exceed, excited to see how it continues to grow. But again, organizationally, how do we think about a system that drives winning? And then how do we work with the men inside of that system to make sure that they're showing up consistently, able to deliver their very best when it matters most? And quite frankly, that's what mental performance allows us to do, deliver our very best consistently when it matters most. And then I'm also working with Notre Dame softball right now and head coach Deanna Gumpf and, and her staff is so bought in and, and they've been there for, she's been there for 20 years. And so her ability to continue to think about how do we evolve? How do we grow? What's next? What's the next evolution? And so with them, we've been able to, to again, think about the system and then train and come alongside of these young women to find new elements of who they are and courage and confidence and a fierceness and how they compete day in and day out. And everything that we know, right, whether we're doing it in the business space or whether we're doing it in the sports space, translates to how people then show up at home, show up at life. And that's what our world needs now more than ever. And so again, encourage you to check out more of some of these fundamental mindset principles in winning the mental game, the playbook for building championship mindsets. But again, just lean into your own journey. Your championship mindset training for this week is to think about your own last 10 years. Who are the leaders that you've served or that you've worked alongside that you most respect, that you felt liberated to actually perform? And then what about them allowed that to be the case, right? Whether it's Coach Kelly and our partnership and our ability for iron to sharpen iron, whether it's the Lippert guys and the autonomy and the creativity that is expressed there, 
whether it's the softball staff and and their desire to incrementally get better every single year and to think differently and or or this NFL team and like how do we how do we really create a different type of environment and culture in the professional football space like what is it about the leaders that you've worked with that have allowed you and those around you to deliver your best that's how leaders can drive greatness in an organization in a team and quite frankly in the world. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Listen, we've got a lot of free resources that I would love to share with you. You can check out our website, www.selkingperformance.com. And then please follow us on all the social media platforms. We're on Twitter and Instagram at Champ Mindsets, on Facebook at Selking Performance Group, um, on, on TikTok at Championship Mindsets. And again, we would love to hear from you. How are you applying this? And then if there's anything that we can do for you, whether you want to be a sponsor of the podcast or whether you're interested in a keynote or one-on-one performance coaching, please reach out to me directly, Dr. Selkin at selkinperformance.com. Thanks so much for tuning in. You've been listening to Building Championship Mindsets, the podcast. This is your host, Dr. Amber Selkin. And from the locker room to the boardroom, I just want to challenge you to continue building your championship mindset. <laughs>